Hi you guys, I'm Kat Corbett, and this is k to the Rescue, presented by Mercedes-Benz. I've decided to make a little spin on this one and invite Alan Wilkes from Big Data here to talk about his new album and his friend, Tony. Oh yes. It's nice. I'm Alan and this is Tony, <laughs> just for the record. You know what I've always wanted to ask you? Are you a data or a data person? I say data, but it's, a, it's apparently a regional thing. Oh, some, okay. Some parts of the country say data. Alan is a producer. Yeah. And then you stepped out and made your own project. Yeah, yeah I, I definitely, I thought I was a studio guy until I wasn't anymore. And then you were like, I gotta get out of here, <laughs> get some vitamin D. Oh, I guess I gotta, <laughs> yeah, exactly, see the sunshine occasionally. So you are now, uh, this is a few years later, and now you are ready with a new album. Yeah. So give, uh, give me some info on, you know, when it's coming out. Yeah. So it's gonna come out, I think, top of 2019. Okay. Still kind of finalizing. Wait. Uh, Ooh, okay. Tony, okay. no! Okay. Easy kamikaze. I right know, here. I know. Uh, top of 2019, and it's all about artificial intelligence in different ways. It's called 3.0. While I was writing the new record, I, I spent, I, I feel like I was sort of writing a PhD, or like a dumb PhD. <laughs> <laughs> I read a lot of books, basically, about AI and different perspectives on where where we might go as a species in the next couple of decades. And there's some really crazy <laughs> possibilities. Are and you then, pro AI or are you? I'm definitely pro AI, but it's like a cautious, cautious optimism. What? So you're gonna do a tour with uh, Castle Comer Castle and Comer. also Fitness, yeah. two bands yeah, I enjoy just, a lot and yeah. I've seen play before, so oh. that's a good lineup. Yeah, we're super fired up. And that's the US tour. It's just US, uh, North, yeah, North America kickoff in October. First show is October 14th, and we'll be on the road for a month. Cool. Um, so Alan, was we always love uh, talking about rescue animals, and Tony is a uh, rescue, so I thought um, we would bang out some questions to Tony. Let's do it. Um, and you, of course. Um, Are you ready? How did you find Tony? Um, through Pet Finder online. Wow, okay. It's almost like a dating, I don't know if you're familiar with Pet Finder, but it's almost like a dating, it's like Tinder for finding rescue animals. <laughs> and you literally read profiles of potential, potential matches and, uh, you know, it's like, it's like really funny stuff in there, like, you know, enjoys walks, <laughs> plays nicely with children, loves toys. And, uh, you know, we saw his picture and his profile was agreeable. <laughs> and you, you fell in love yeah, with his picture and you were like, well, love. we should meet him. We yeah. should go for a first date. I mostly fell in love with the picture because I'm superficial like that. Right. And uh, <laughs> I got to take him for a test walk around the block, <gasps> which I thought was How'd really, do you do? Really How'd you cute. do? I did okay. He did great. Aww. He smelled all kinds of stuff. All right. How many names do you have for Tony? About 10,000. Can you name some of them? Um, the most common name for him is Bucky. Don't really know where that came from, Okay. but I just started calling him Bucky. I call him Buster a lot. If Tony had a job, what would it be? What would be his profession? That's tough. That is tough. He's very good at licking himself. Oh, so, so maybe he's like a taste tester, one yeah, of those taste, people that... Yeah, if, if, <laughs> <laughs> if the taste that he's testing is his own... His own, you know, musk. Yeah. You know, is this Coke or Pepsi? Do you like, you know, do you yeah. like salsa or not salsa? Yeah, yeah. All right. Um, are you an in bed dog person or? In bed. Okay. Big time. I give. I got a high five for that. Yeah. yeah. All he right. also. It's kind of incredible. He snores like a chainsaw, <gasps> and he's a very small dog. Tony. He's, he's Fourteen pounds of pure muscle, but uh, he snores like a large man. I think you should call him chainsaw. I that should, should add be added onto the list That's of. Good. It's like baritone snoring. Like I don't know how this size body cavity can resonate. And he's like so that. calm and quiet now. Yeah. Is he your first adoption? First, yeah, first dog ever. Wow. I always wanted a dog, and my parents just weren't really gonna do it. And I guess I didn't lobby hard enough. So that. was it a little terrifying? Ah, uh, not really. Okay. It's like shockingly easy to have a dog. I know that people see, because people think they have to change their whole life and then it's like boom. It's really not, like, it's not a big expense. It's not, I mean, obviously you have to change some things. You have right. to plan your walks into your day or get a dog walker if you can't be there, but it's not a huge change. And honestly, the happiness that having a dog brings just kind of dwarfs. Yeah, the big change is the positivity, so. 
Tony, you did your job, you good old man. Yeah. Good Every, job. Which, man, the feeling of coming home and he's just super fired up to see you, it's very hard to beat that. <gasps> oh, God, there's little, little hearts coming out of your head right now, yeah. Alan. I love it. I mean, it. I'm just beaming. I'm <laughs> kind of always beaming hearts directly at him. Just, um, well, thank you for coming in for this episode yeah. and not only talking about your new album, but talking about adoption. And yeah. um, so we're going to see you out here in Los Angeles. New album, beginning of 2019. Beginning of 2019. All right, so thank you. Alan Wilkes, Big Data, or Data, depending on where you're from. <laughs> and Tony, a.k.a. Chainsaw. That's right. Um, thanks for coming in. Thanks for having me. It's K-Rock to the rescue, everybody. Go out there and adopt. Don't shop.